I've been doing this now for a long time, Padmini, product management, and I would say some things have not changed, you know, in the past 20 years, how to do this right, uh, as you can imagine, and then some things have changed. Uh, I think some of that is changing with Gen AI. Now my product managers have a lot more firepower in their hands. Uh, they even throw in the current mockups in the product, and they would ask the LLM to come up with, you know, what I should build uh, in this feature for solving this pain point. So I think uh, Gen AI is helping expedite that. I think product management, uh, building product as a discipline more broadly is actually evolving, which is essentially think of this as like an agent, which is always on, on your screen. And when you come into work, you know, you, it shows you what you can do. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about going to a specific folder and finding a document and reading it. So you can just ask, you know, what you have in your mind, it'll surface that for you. So we, we have even agents for me now for the, the single most important thing or the most pervasive thing a sales guy does is to create a deck actually when he gets ready for or she gets ready for a customer meeting so i can ask for it to build, build a deck for you um, but there's also a lot of governance uh when you're when you're dealing with data at scale um and all the ethical guardrails and it's becoming the new thing everyone's talking about governance as far as the guy is concerned so the end-to-end -end is covered for them and it's power, a lot of this is powered by ai so it helps you understand you know, what needs to be approved is it safe to be sent or not and they're human in the loop all throughout um, Compliance is not an afterthought. It was never an afterthought, but with AI, it's even not even more not an afterthought. It has to be very carefully built in the platform. And you know where you can rely on AI, where you cannot rely on AI. So our customers surely being a trusted partner there, they look up to us to help them. You know, um, not coach on those workflows, but to share with them those workflows and best practices. And I think, but the secret sauce is the human piece there. So if you know people in leadership actually see them as a partner and truly want to collaborate and they put in effort and hours, uh, then, you know, people who work with you in the teams, it rubs onto them and they want to do that too, right? But I feel that, you know, your sales, your marketing, your customer success, you know, those are like your eyes and ears into the world. So it's very important for an R&D organization to actually make an explicit effort to continuously, continuously is the yeah. real world. That's where you build the best product. Uh, I think my single biggest advice is that there's something fundamental about being a good product manager, which is you should do the right thing. I think that's the principle everybody should uphold in their mind. So I think it's very important for a product manager to do the right thing always. But has the fundamental thing about what makes you a good product manager change? It's about building product that customers love, and it's about building products that your enterprise are your enterprise is strategically aligned to building, right? And that's my advice to anybody who wants to be a product manager. It's not about learning how to write a PRD. It's not about learning how to use Gen AI. It's not about even talking to customers. You know, you, those are the artifacts that will fall in place. But do you truly believe in doing the right thing? If you have that in your mind, you'll be a great product manager.